let's try to understand what is event in solidity and how you can utilize it into a smart contract and the some major use case we have is that just imagine that you have an event and if you want to update any data into the blockchain so you can use this event and when you use this event to store data on the blockchain and it's cost you very less as compared to using the actual storage so when you store data as a form of state variable that will cost you higher amount but when you use this event to store the data uh, it will cost you cheaper so that's what we're going to learn in this that how you can create event into the solidity smart contract and how you can define let me provide the license identifier solidity and let's create a contract we're going to call it event and in that we're going to define so so when you define your event you can pass only three indexing you can have multiple data in the event but the indexing is going to be only three not more than that and it will allow you to filter the data so what happened generally in the indexing form that suppose you have a uh, data on the ethereum blockchain and you want to index based on the address or based on the token id something like that so you can have only three not more than that so let's come here let's declare an event we'll call it log and in that we want to provide the address we'll call it index sender and the string message so we want to have the data based on the index so the address is going to be the index for that particular user to get this message let's create another empty event so this is the blank event we have this event but we don't have anything into that event so you can declare an empty event as well so another logs let's come here let's create a function to test this so we'll call it public and in that we have to declare the event so we'll say emit log and we have to pass the exact data so we have to pass the person who's calling this function so message.sender is going to be the address and we have to pass our string hello world so this is how we can update and let's come here we're going to say log message.sender hello world and that's another way let's come down here we're going to simply pass the empty event as well and that's it that's the only thing we have to keep in mind so that's the event contract we have written we have all the parameters and this function so let's test this out so if i come here if i deploy this event contract and here you can see we have this one here we are getting this only function because that's the function we have it here let's click on this and here you can see we got this entire but if i open this if i open this entire log here you can find that here we have this from which we have called this is the topic and this is the event we have you can see we have all the event so this is the log we have defined this is the data the address and the string the address and the string the the defined we have defined so you can define multiple argument here here you can see we have these two events because we are passing different data in each of this event with the same sender same person who's calling this function so that's the entire data you can easily be able to get so this is the first event this is the second event and this is the third one which is an empty and you can easily be able to get this data and fetch the data and display right in your front end application so it's a very important things which you have to keep in mind and this will save a lot of money when you will use instead of storage data you can use this event to get the data from the blockchain so that's the only thing you have to keep in mind hope this makes sense to all of you if you have still any confusion do leave in the comment section or repost the video to understand in a better way so with that let's move to the next